Hi guys, welcome to another month of my creative year. Uh, this month for April 2019, our topic for the month is lists. And our challenge for the month is vibrant. Let me, let me double check and make sure that's accurate. Hang on. I was right. So by the time that you see this, you'll already see the challenge video. Um, the challenge for the month is, vi the word is vibrant. And we're really encouraging you all to make vibrant, bright, colorful, expressive pieces. Pieces you can send off in the mail to Happy Mail to somebody. Um, there's lots of lists. Um, li again, lists, hello, list is a topic. So there's lots of Happy Mail lists all over the internet um, and places that you can send things to a friend, maybe to somebody you don't know, to a stranger. Um, Check our files out here in My Creative Year for any content regarding that, if we have one, which we do. Um, if you're not a member of My Creative Year and you don't know what the heck that is, it's a Facebook group. It's a free teaching, um, sharing uh, Facebook group. Um, you have to be a member to find the content. So the link is in the description below. So we would welcome you if you want to join. You do need to answer some interest questions. So if you don't answer the questions, you aren't going to get in. So you better answer the questions. Um, so vibrant, create some wonderful, colorful, expressive pieces, send them off to somebody you know, don't know and brighten their day. I think that's a great thing. But our topic this month isn't about that. Our topic this month is lists, which does kind of have to do with saying off a little bit. So lists, I'm a big proponent of lists. I love my lists, I love my sticky notes. If you've been following my channel for a while, you already know this, I've got a sticky note hoard. It's kind of an issue, but I love my sticky notes. I recently ordered something off of AliExpress and I got these cute sticky notes as a free thank you gift. Wait till you see them. Aren't they cute? He's like, feed me, feed me. <laughs> I just love them. So I can't wait to start using them, but they're cute. Um, I love my lists. Your lists don't need to be boring. They don't need to be plain. Uh, they can be my working list for YouTube videos on a mini clipboard. Um, I highlight them as I'm finished. Um, I have ideas, quick flash, if you save the screen. I do put, I do put tabs um, so that when I have multiple kinds of lists on the same piece of note paper so that I can just flip easy, I just staple them on. Um, and then I have the random collage, I'm sorry, random collaboration instructions stuffed in too. But I love my mini clipboards for some of my notes. I also have a planner. I don't really use it as a planner. I use it for notes. Um, it is organized into different sections. Um, and this is a happy planner and I'm sorry, Webster's pages planner. And um, I have sort of art business to-do lists and um, just a general notes section, uh, projects, it's empty, but that's because the projects are on the clipboard. Um, classes I've taken and the prompts involved um, I've saved track of them since 2014, uh, so I can go back to them if I ever get stuck on what to create, which hasn't happened yet. Um, social media things where I've shared prompts. We used to do that in a life of art and self-expression, so fun fact. Um, different projects I'm working on, and in the back is my YouTube video schedule. That's the I use the calendar to mark when the videos are coming out. I don't use it for anything else, so this is all lists. This whole thing is lists, and it sits on my desk. I love my lists. I have lists downstairs on the kitchen, um, refrigerator. I took a couple of these mini clipboards and I put magnets on the back so they would stick to the fridge. One of them is the <clears throat> honey do list. Do you have one of those? I got one of those. He ignores it, but it's there. <laughs> right next to the grocery list, which is also on a mini clipboard. So as people use things up or we run out of something, the idea is put it on the list, people. You don't put it on the list, I don't buy it when I go to the store. So I love my lists. And do you love your list as much as I do? Think about if you're not a lister, maybe trying it with a particular part of your life or your art that you're maybe struggling keeping up with, you're struggling, struggling keeping track of. Try making a list. It doesn't have to be boring. It can be bright and colorful. Use your sticky notes. They're wonderful. I love my sticky notes. Um, they are a great way to decorate your lists or add a note uh, or a mini list to a calendar. Stick one on the refrigerator. Honey, can you please pick up, you know, whatever. Um, lists, 
Think about your lists. How can you incorporate them this month into your work, into your art? Um, if all you can do this month is go to the files and look at the list of happy mail addresses and send off a few things, at least do that. So I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do. I love my lists. I hope you love your lists. And if you don't do lists, try it. Maybe it'll work for you. That's it for this month. If you're not a member, as I said, of my creative year and you would like to be, um, check out the link in the description below. Go request to join. You can follow me on social media or support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook groups by clicking on my Linktree link. That'll give you a list of all the different places I am on the internet, including um, Instagram, Twitter, uh, my uh, website, my Etsy store, my Amazon affiliate store, the tip jar, Patreon, like all that stuff. Um, so click there. Um, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Click the little bell icon if you want notifications of new videos. And the most important thing is to go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Maybe make a list and have a great day. Bye, guys.